In this video, I'm going to introduce you to one of the most important concepts uh, in Fluoro. Uh, it's quite unique and it's kind of similar to things that you may be used to like folders or tags and it's a little bit different to that as well. So um, let's jump into it and hopefully you guys will be able to understand it and then make use of its power um, after watching this video. So I'm going to go to config and then under config I'm going to go to realms. And here I have one realm. You will have one realm when you first start uh, Fluoro. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a structure underneath it that matches how I want to organize all the content in my database. So uh, the first thing to note is that literally everything that you put into Fluoro is going to have to be placed in a realm of some sort. Now you can keep this quite simple by just leaving uh, the original setup with just a single realm. But if you're say like a multi-campus church or a, a multi-department and you operate quite autonomously with different people uh, requiring different content in their own areas uh, and some more complex permissions, then you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to this and set up your realms uh, so that it's easier for you going forward. So I'm going to uh, click this three dots next to the head office and I'm going to add a child realm. And I'm going to just make this my overall organization realm. So uh, let's call our organization um, uh, Central Church. So we're going to create a church like this. And then underneath this, I'm going to add a realm. And this is going to be Campus 1. Maybe this can be the Melbourne campus. And I'll pick purple for the Melbourne campus. And I'm also going to click uh, add another child realm. I'm going to call this the Sydney campus and we'll call it light green. And we will add another child one and we'll do this a Brisbane campus. And I could leave this, uh, leave this as, as so, and we would have our head office, which is kind of like the white house. Then we've got the central church, which is kind of like, um, you know, maybe the Pentagon. And then underneath that, we've got each of our kind of main cities. Um, this gives me a pretty good structure to set up the rest of my content. Um, however, you can, if you wish, go deeper and you may have Brisbane and then underneath Brisbane have, um, you know, something like youth, young adults, kids. Uh, it really depends. But um, Essentially, what we would recommend is to keep your realm structure as tight and as simple as possible um, and then create realms as you need them uh, as things come up. But now I'm going to show you how you can use realms and what they do and how they work. So uh, I'm going to click the menu over here and I'm just going to go to content. I'm going to go to articles. Now in articles here, I'm going to create a new article and I'm going to choose basic article. Here I'm going to write, uh, this is an article for Brisbane. And I'm going to select the realms and I'm going to put it in the Brisbane campus realm. And I'm going to hit save. And now I'm going to create a, another article. And we'll do another basic article. This is an article for Melbourne. And I'm going to click select realms and I'm going to put it in the Melbourne campus. And I'm going to hit save. And then I'm going to create another new article. We're going to say, this is an article that is for both Brisbane and Melbourne. And I'm gonna click select realms and why not? I'm just gonna put it in Sydney, Brisbane and Melbourne. And we're gonna hit save. Now you can see I've got these articles and this article is in three different campuses, three different realms. Uh, this is in the Melbourne campus realm and this is in the Brisbane campus realm. Um, I'm going to create another article. I'm going to choose basic article and I'm going to put this is an article in the head office realm. And I'm going to choose, you guessed it, the head office realm and I'm going to hit save. Okay, so I have a few different articles and they're all in different realms. Um, and what's going to be great is that over here, if I want to filter, I can add a condition and I can search for realms. And I can say, I only want to see uh, articles that are in the Brisbane or the Melbourne campus, and then that will filter my list. And now I can only see those. I'm going to get rid of that. 
and then it will show me all of the articles uh, across the across the system that I'm allowed to see. And that brings me to what I'm going to do next, which is going to create a user that can only see articles in the Brisbane realm. So if I go to config and go to users, here you'll see I've got uh, my user that I'm logged in as. I'm going to create a new user and I'm going to call this demo Brisbane. Uh, it can be demo brisbane.com. I hope that's no one's actual address. And then I'm going to go to individual permissions. And here I'm going to choose a role. I'm just going to choose the full access role, which means that basically they get full access to do whatever they like. And here I'm going to choose the realm. Now I can choose that the demo Brisbane uh, user can only have full access in the Brisbane campus realm. And I'm going to click add. And I'm going to put the demo Brisbane campus person in the Brisbane, camp Brisbane campus as well. So this up here is the realm that the user is actually going to be stored in. As I mentioned earlier, everything has to be stored in at least one realm. And down here, this is describing who, what content uh, this user has access to by saying that this user has full access to the Brisbane campus realm. And I'm going to hit save. Um, and now you'll see that other user in the list here. So I've got Demo Brisbane and K Tutorial. Now let's test it out. You'll see here that it's a waiting collection. That's because demo at brisbane.com hasn't actually accepted and connected their logged in or connected their account yet. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click these three dots over here and I'm going to choose, uh, there should be an impersonate button here. I'm just going to check uh, why that is. It may be because I haven't set this up correctly. Um, there we go. Impersonate Demo Brisbane. So I'm going to click impersonate and now you see this pink ring around here saying that I'm impersonating the Demo Brisbane person and you'll see that now if I go to my content and I go to articles, I should only see the articles that are in the Brisbane campus. I actually can't access the anything else other than things in the Brisbane campus. Also, if I click new article and I click basic article, you will see that the realms option here isn't even visible because I only have access as this user to create in the Brisbane campus. And I'm going to hit save and you'll see that that user doesn't even have to choose where things go because they can only put things in one place. So that's just how you can uh, use realms to set up where things go and who has access to them. Um, thank you very much for watching and that's the end of this video.